Whether you are watching as a group or as an individual, we're glad you're here. The Missouri Coalition for Roadway Safety is committed to reducing fatalities and disabling injuries on Missouri roads. We are strategically focusing on saving lives by encouraging seatbelt use and discouraging distracted driving, impaired driving, and speeding. There is a 100% chance that every person will be involved in a car crash at some point in his or her life, so everyone has a crash story. Today you'll hear from survivors who share their stories about being involved in a drunk driving crash. Impaired driving is a choice, a choice that has consequences. Hi, my name is Skylar Gray and I'm 26. Um, when I was 20 years old, I was involved in a car accident that left me as a quadriplegic. I was a passenger in a drinking and driving accident and I was unbelted. I was sent through the front windshield that, and it caused my neck to break um, and left me with a spinal cord injury that I will have for the rest of my life. I um, now have to have help in most aspects of my life. I am still pretty independent, but I am working on getting back to driving. I still have not been able to drive five and a half years later. Basically every aspect of my life is affected from this injury because of a choice that I made when I got in a vehicle with a drunk driver and didn't put my seatbelt on. Nearly five years ago, I was involved in a drinking and driving collision, two of our daughters and I. But most of the time, the person who is sitting up here speaking with you is that drunk driver. But this morning, I'd like to share with you a different perspective in that our two children and I are survivors. For me, time literally did stop. My lungs refused to breathe as I watched that truck come skidding around the corner towards us directly in our path. And it was going so fast as I watched it working back and forth and back and forth and it desperately wanted to get back on its side of the road. But it just couldn't do it. And it's at that point that I wonder where that phrase my life flashed before my eyes comes from. Drinking and driving is not an accident. It's not a mistake. It is a choice. And it's a choice that matters. The impaired driver's blood alcohol level was 0.265, over three and a half times the legal limit. That impaired driver was the only one not wearing a seatbelt that night. And that man lost his life.
December 29th was a very difficult night for me. Since I live so close to 66, I started hearing sirens, fire truck after fire truck, EMS vehicles, police. The sirens were never ending. It was, there were so many sirens that I stopped what I was doing and I thought to myself, something bad has really happened. I knew that it had happened, but I didn't want to believe that it had happened. Because after all, this was one of my best friends, and you don't ever think about things happening to you or the people that are close to you. You don't think about that. You just always expect them to be there. It took around an hour to be able to get me out of that car. Our girls were extricated fairly quickly within about 15 minutes. And I can't really recall a whole lot, except I remember always being surrounded by people who were trying to help us. I was in a wheelchair for the majority of 16 months. I've had 11 surgeries in three years. Three of those surgeries were on my pelvis. This is my pelvis today, and this is the way that it's always going to stay. I have two bolts in my back left hip. I have a plate and six screws in my pubic bone. And my pelvis is fused, which means it does not move anymore. I've had eight surgeries on my ankles, four on each side. And my ankles are also fused, which means they stay at 90 degrees at all times. It's been five years, but it took four of those years for me to be able to recover. If I did get to walk, it was with a walker or crutches. I was always in a cast, or at times one or both of these boots. I decided to have a party at my house. It started to die down a little bit, and most people left. So some of us decided we were gonna load up in, in one of my buddy's brand new trucks and take it to Moberly. All four of us were very intoxicated, and we had no right to even be behind the wheel. I mean, I'm just blessed to be here today. I see the parents of the two of them, the two guys that died in the accident. They'll come up to me and cry on my shoulder, and that leaves me with the feeling that I can't even explain. I mean, I, I mean, nobody should have to go through this sort of stuff. I was invincible; nothing could hurt me, and uh, it can. Missouri's highway safety plan focuses on four areas seat belts, distracted driving, speeding, and impaired driving. The plan provides all Missourians a basic understanding of the crash problem in Missouri and ways they can help. The plan also includes strategies for individuals, families, and organizations large and small. If all Missourians commit to these four actions, the number of fatalities on Missouri roadways will be significantly reduced. If everyone on our roadways simply buckled up, an estimated 240 lives would be saved each year. Everyone has a role to play. You can read the plan at modot.org. In the last four years, Northeast Missouri has had 41 fatalities and 193 serious injuries involving impaired driving. The Missouri State Highway Patrol serves and protects all people by enforcing laws and providing services to ensure a safe and secure environment. This environment includes your car and the roads our citizens travel. 
Since 2016, more than a thousand people have lost their lives in Missouri as a result of impaired driving. There is a reason it's against the law. It's dangerous. Give the keys to someone else if you've been drinking or impaired by drugs, or don't drive. Do your part to make Missouri roads safer. You only have one life, so make smart choices with that life, and remember that all of your actions do have consequences and it can happen to you. If we would just used our heads and stayed home, and, I mean, there's a time and place for everything, and there's never a time and place for drinking and driving.